This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. I'm afraid you have Cousin Oliver Syndrome. From the Bop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. If you're in charge of a long-running family sitcom, mm-hmm. you will in- inevitably run into a problem. Those precious kids tend to grow up and no longer be precious. Exactly. So what to do? How about a new younger kid who comes out of nowhere? Mm-hmm. That's Cousin Oliver, introduced on the Brady Bunch in the middle of its final season in an attempt to save the failing show. It did not work in that case. I do want to thank TVTropes.org for their invaluable information on this subject. As in many of these cases, Cousin Oliver ex- explained away thusly. Major characters, otherwise unseen relatives or neighbors, in this case Carol's brother and his wife, are removed from the storyline, in this case moved to an archaeological dig in South America, and the kid, in this case nine-year-old Robbie Rist, is left behind so the main family takes them in. Oliver became the namesake of this trope, but he's hardly alone. Robbie Rist actually had a twofer in this category. He was added to the Mary Tyler Moore show near the end of the run as Ted Baxter's adopted son. When Rudy on The Cosby Show moved into puberty, Denise conveniently got married off screen and came back with a stepdaughter, Olivia, a.k.a. Oliver, a.k.a. Raven Simone. When Arnold stopped being cute... Sam, who was Danny Cooksey, arrived as the son of Mr. Drummond's new wife. On different strokes. Yes. As the Bradford kids aged out of cuteness on Eight is Enough, cousin Jeremy, a young Ralph Macchio, (laughs) was adopted after Abby's sister-in-law died, which is another trope. Mm As All in the Family aged less than gracefully, Mike and Gloria left the series and were replaced by Stephanie, Danielle Brisbois, as one of Edith, Edith's nieces who are was basically abandoned by her dad. On Good Times, star Esther Roll got tired of playing straight man to Jimmy J.J. Dynamite Walker, so she left the show, forcing the cast of kids to grow up. Mm-hmm. And adding Penny, Janet Jackson, a new neighbor girl abused and abandoned by her mother. There's a wacky sitcom premise for you. (laughs) Growing Pains had to go Cousin Oliver twice. The Seavers had a new daughter, Chrissy, Ashley Johnson, in season four. Then in season seven, homeless teen Luke, Leonardo DiCaprio, yes, that one, joined the cast. Chrissy was also the victim of a common sitcom ailment, accelerated aging syndrome. After all, when a child is born on a sitcom, you may get three to four episodes out of that event, and then they're dead weight until they can make quips. Another double Oliver example. In order to avoid changing the title of My Three Sons when Tim Considine, Mike Douglas, decided to leave the show, Orphan Ernie, Barry Livingston, brother of Stanley, who played Chip, joins the cast. And this was explained by the most bizarre idea. Ernie's current foster parents and neighbors to the Douglases are transferred to the Orient for work and just don't bother taking him along. There's a whole storyline about needing a caregiver in the foster home and Steve Douglas, Fred McMurray, getting married to cover it. He almost got married. But then they decide that Uncle Charlie is technically a caregiver. Exactly. And then since My Three Sons ran for so long, 12 seasons, another Oliver was eventually needed in the form of Dodie, Dawn Lynn, a new stepdaughter after Steve remarried. Those were my favorite episodes of My Three Sons. (laughs) Dodie! Yes. (laughs) Another long-running series, The Donna Reed Show, at eight seasons, added Trisha... Patty Peterson, sister of Paul, who played Jeff, as a runaway orphan. 
the Partridge family went all Oliver with neighbor Ricky, Ricky Seagal, a four-year-old singing prodigy in their final season. Step by Step pulled both an Oliver and age acceleration on Lily, Emily Mae Young, who was born at the end of the fourth season, is a baby for the fifth, but is suddenly six years old in the sixth <laughs> season. <laughs> Give Me a Break added Orphan Joey, seven-year-old Joey Lawrence, to the show after only two seasons, and then brought in Joey's brother, Matthew, four years later. Family Ties added Andrew, Brian Bonsall, as the other kids aged, but at least Mom Elise actually birthed the kid. And for an older example, try Billy on Charmed, Kaylee Cuoco just before Big Bang Theory, who showed up as a fourth witch near the end of the series. And by the way, Cuoco has now been a regular on a TV show for 16 years straight. Eight Simple Rules, Charmed, and Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer even added younger sister Dawn late in the run, although she was created due to magic. Yes. Since the Cousin Oliver Syndrome is designed to keep younger viewers watching an aging, kid-centric series, it only makes sense that this also happens on cartoons. The best example is Scrappy-Doo, Scooby's nephew, and hated characters on his eponymous series. Everybody hates, hates Scrappy-Doo. The Simpsons parodied the concept when Poochie is added to the Itchy and Scratchy show, the cartoon within a cartoon. I have to go. My planet needs me. They even put a button on it when mysterious new character Roy is added and then quickly disappears from the Simpson household. Nibbles, a gray mouse wearing a diaper, was added to Tom and Jerry shorts. <laughs> even Mystery Science Theater 3000 has a reference to Cousin Oliver. Timmy Bobby Rusty. <laughs> A stereotypical lisping kid, played by Paul Chaplin, is added to the show to help sagging readings. I think we should add a yeah. Cousin Oliver. <laughs> Come on in, Cousin Oliver! Hey. Hey, hey, hey. No Cousin Olivers here. <laughs> ever. Trust me. <laughs> if you have a Cousin Oliver, you should let us know. Yeah. Meantime, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Hey, Cousin Oliver, get out of it! Oh, no! <laughs>